Jean Chasky. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas. Oh, the it's Rebe Show. How are you? It's my pleasure. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I want my guest to know. I told you she was coming. She comes always to talk about money. Jean, how can we have smart and savvy e-gifts for the whole family this Christmas? So the folks at LifeLock did a survey and found 40% of parents say they're getting themselves new smartphones or new devices this holiday season, and about a third of them are going to pass their old ones onto their kids. So we want to make sure that whether you're giving your kid a new phone or your old one, you're doing it in a smart way. And that makes means doing a few things. It means keeping a lid on your family data costs. You know, when it comes to um, when it comes to the minutes and the, the data that you're using, it's the data that really costs the most money these days. So you want to teach your kids about minimizing their data usage by tracking it, um, by jumping on Wi-Fi whenever they have the chance so they're not eating into their data allotment. You may want to consider using a family data manager so that you can allocate buckets of data to each person on your plan. That's a strategy that's worked very well for me. If you're passing along a device, you want to make sure that you're passing it along clean of your information. And that means if you've got an iOS device, um, going through and removing the contents and, and the settings. It means if you've got an Android device, restoring the default settings. And if instead of giving your device to a child in your family, you're passing that device along by selling it or donating it, you want to take the additional step of just rebooting the entire device and removing the SIM card. And you want to make sure finally that you're very safe when it comes to using this device. And that means talking with your kids about what they're allowed to do as far as communicating with others, as far as visiting websites. Um, LifeLock and the National PTA partnered on a, a tool called thesmarttalk.org and it allows you to sit down with your kids and answer a series of questions that will be used to develop a contract that you'll both adhere to as far as smart device usage. So where are they allowed to go? How much time are they allowed to spend on this device? Are they allowed to use it in their own room or only in a public area? A lot of really important things to talk about with your kids because when you give them a phone, you're really sending them out into the world with a computer and they need to understand how to be safe about that. That's some great advice. Where can we find this wrapped up on the um, web for my listening audience because that's quite a bit, Jean. Oh, sure. TheSmartTalk.org. You are great. What are we going to see you next on TV? Where are we going to see you so we can look for you? I love oh, you. you. Thank you so much. You'll see me next week. All right, we'll be looking for you. Thank you, Jean uh -huh. Jasky. Bye-bye.